Hello everybody and welcome to Sakura Clicker and I'm just making this video, it's not really a let's play, but I might make it a let's play, I, I have no idea. Uh, clicker games are kind of uh, hard to let's play to begin with, so with how things are, this is just how it's going to be. I'm gonna give you a bit of a heads up though, I have all the sound off because there is no volume control. Now, volume control is just voice on, off, whatever, you know. <laughs> It's really, really loud, and I cannot, I cannot, like, talk over it, um, and be heard. So I have Magnolia from Demo playing in the background, and Demo's another game I will be talking about, but I'll probably, uh, I'll probably have to find a way to film it, um, right now, that, all the little filming issues with game consoles, handhelds, cell phones, whatever, is all being worked out. All I have is Bandicam, so I'll be doing computer games as of uh, late. So, let's jump right in. So, I'm gonna explain the little things here at first. Here we have pets. Um, and then we have, you know, you can customize your character if you want. Whatever. You know, actually that's really cute. I'm gonna keep it. Um, <laughs> So, here you have Haru. This is Haru. I've, I decorated her, her, her purple now. Sorry, I gotta speak really, really fast, because I don't want to make this really long, like the first attempt that I made trying to do this. Because I wanted to, because I thought it would help out my friends, but anybody else as well. So, I'm gonna explain this really quick. When you first get in, you're gonna be a little bit confused. You're not gonna know what to do with anything. It should be quite self-explanatory from watching the videos, but I don't know. Maybe, maybe you know, just playing with the game actually helps. Um, yes, I'm being a little bit sarcastic and a little bit brutish, but I mean, it's true. Playing around with the game actually helps you figure some shit out. And uh, reading up on, uh, you know, Steam posts and stuff like that. Pardon me. Oh, you know, I'm drinking soda. What can I do? Um, so I'm on zone 23-3. And Haru is level 749. Uh, the further you go, the more you can get these confused little things. Now these little confusing little things at the start of the game is kind of like, how do I get those? What do I do? Well, you gotta level up Haru to level 450. I'll explain her passive ability, uh, her active abilities later, and her one passive ability later. And I know I can just hold it over it and you can see what it is, but right now it's gonna be this so I can actually show you how these abilities work now that the time is up on them right now I'm making a steady amount of money that's because I have a lot of girls right why is my game slow what is this I don't even I have no idea so this little sprite thing that pops up here gives you a chunk of money <laughs> gives you a chunk of gold and uh, that helps you move things along it's actually really helpful and worth sitting here waiting for it so you don't have to like sit here and be like oh defeat her so I can get the stupid gold already no it's actually really helpful to just kind of um, get the passive abilities of your allies now you get a lot of allies and there's a lot of allies and I mean I'm not even done picking them up like the Hanada not even not even so <laughs> Um, if you defeat your enemies fast enough, you get a treasure chest. So, the further you go, uh, so this is like 23, so 2, 3, dash 3, um, plus how high my character's level is, I, I'm guessing that's what I've read before. Uh, this is how far I am in the game, so I get 26 spirits because of it. Oh, so it'd be zone 23 plus this I'm guessing. I don't know, let's speak the boss. So the bosses are after every 10 uh, enemies. So I'm going to beat her and you'll see here it says enemies. And she popped up again. Uh, I beat one and then you have two. So here is Haru's passive. It's auto attack. So it deals 75% of click damage every 1.5 seconds. So if I do this, it takes out a huge chunk of their health. Next is Gold Fountain. So it gives 50% of stage 
gold per click for 20 seconds. So that's what the gold fountain does. So as you go, you could just accumulate gold this way. Don't beat the boss yet! Nah! <laughs> I'm very picky with this game right now. Because, like, I want to save up enough gold to get the next character, but I don't want to go far enough that it gets so difficult I have to level up the girls and I'm not making enough money. But the further you go, the more money you make. And it's really helpful, so I'm glad I was able to beat that boss, because I feel like this is just going to be a huge sum of money. Um, I click with my middle finger, so I don't know. I think it's my strongest finger. It's everybody's strongest finger. So it actually can, it has more agility than your index finger. In some cases, your middle finger will get tired, and you will have to use your index finger. So let's get into the allies. So you spend gold on leveling up allies and Haru and buying more allies, because down. Yeah, here. I'm gonna pick this up. It's gonna be real, really chunky. Ooh, ooh, that sound. Yeah, that's what happens when the sound is off. It's a little bug, but I don't know I bother me. So, when you make this amount of money right here, you can buy her. I'm not even close. So, <laughs> um, these abilities actually really help. So, next you have Frenzy. Auto attacks the enemy 20 times a second for 10 seconds. And then you have Strike True, which is plus 25 critical hit chance for 15 seconds. So, if I do this, you don't see a lot of criticals happening because you actually have to click to make those criticals happen. I didn't want to have anything that would disprove it, so it actually is really helpful. I want to cause so much damage that it's not even funny. <laughs> That's what I'm aiming for here. So each and every single ally actually has passive abilities. So when you buy them, they come default with by default with this this uh, ability. So it's your ally strength, and it's always going to be your ally strength. It's just going to work different every single time. It's not going to change. So then you have self damage boost. So automatically unlocked at level 100. Then 200, 300, uh, no, 200, 400, then 600. Apologize for that. And uh, the self damage boost increases the ally's own damage by 50%. Then you have click damage boost, increase click damage by 5%. Then you have the gold boost, which is increases stage gold amount by 25%. And then you have sel uh, the uh, self damage boost extra, which is at uh, 600. So, you then get, you have characters that actually unlock click damage, which is actually really cool, but I always kind of aim for, like, the gold boosts. Asako, Chiyo, and Azami, plus Sumiko, which, uh, I can freaking do right now. <laughs> so, now I have a gold boost, see? And that's because I got her level 400 for this fourth ability. And that is that does increase damage. It increases the amount of gold um, in the stage. So what I'm getting now is higher. I am so glad I did that. So that really helps to keep those in mind. I would actually be very 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 selective and frugal keep track of levels and keep track of abilities and what you want out of them and I always go for like the gold ones if I can possible like here's a gold one this is really difficult because the further you get the harder it's going to be and you want to save your money you want to be frugal you want to keep everything in place so that not only do they do a lot of damage and you're able to save up enough money to get the last character, but you want to level them up enough so that they can fight the enemies super fast. Um, and that is just very important to keep in mind because it's actually really tough to, you know, get to a damage point where they will damage your character 
uh, the not the character, your your the enemies enough to where you're actually steadily making money, and I mean like every few seconds, you know, or every couple of seconds, you are hitting an enemy without any problems. Now I'm having a bit of a problem here because here it's beating it three big chunks, and it's kind of you know, oh great, now I'll have to level up a uh, character down here and I don't have a lot of money. So, you know, I have to sit here and wait for that to, to happen. So, you want to be very frugal with your money. You want to save it up and you want to let it sit there. If you want to grab sprites, if you want to grab things you can click multiple times, uh, which is basically the gold gain, because these spirits are what level these up uh, you know level these up so that you can actually rank them so that you can increase the um, effectiveness of your passive abilities and other things like that for your character and for your allies as well not to mention click damage so each one is very very helpful especially with boss timer all damage click damage ally damage critical damage gold gain and attack speed you want to be able to make it steady and move it steadily forward and that's about it. Um, I gave you a strategy, pretty much explained everything to you. Other than that, it's a very simple game. Um, you know, you can customize your characters, but you have to buy them from the freaking Steam store, which is really annoying, but you know, you can unlock shit as you go. I don't like it anymore. So anyway, hope uh, you all have a great and wonderful day. And uh, that's it for Soccer Clicker. I will see you next time.